Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with, uh, I think this is our last case. I don't see any more in the back in our uh, in the Big Hit Garden. None, no, no one else was uh, growing, Inception, but maybe we'll find some more later on. But for now, our last case, 2022 Topps Inception Baseball, 16 box, pick your team number five, full case break. Big thanks to this group right here for getting in on the action, appreciate it. Thanks for spending a bit of your Monday with us, Kansas. Coming back from almost 15 points down, winning the national championship today. Steven, with the uh, Last Bot Mojo Rangers, that's the star next to your name. We did two different number blocks for this. Here's the here's one of them, featuring those teams. I think we upload. Did I upload that in a? I don't think I uploaded that in a separate video. So, and I think the other one I did upload. That featured the bigger group of teams right here. So you can see the results or the randomizers. These are the results. You can see the randomizer in different videos. All right, let's set those aside next to me over there. And let's pop this case open and let's see what's what we got in here. I don't know what Ace Rothstein's line was on the game. It was pr probably a pretty sharp line though. If it's Ace Rothstein. It's Ace is high with Ace Rothstein. Remember that part? Oh, these boxes all over the place. Oh, come on. Oh boy, what a mess. All right, so there's four right there. Four right here. One, two, three, four, right, three, four, right over here. And then one, two, three, oh, and four right over here. So there's four stacks of four to make 16. You can see it all on the top camera as well. I guess maybe a supply chain issue. They weren't able to find the perfect fitting box for these. All right, good luck, gang. The auto is third, third card down from the top. All right, we got the Crone Zone, 23 out of 50 for the Padres. That's gonna go to Lonnie. And our first autograph is Greg Diekman. 173 out of 299 for the Cubbies. That's gonna go to that's gonna go to a number block team. So that'll go to Cubs three. That's part of that Philadelphia group. And Cubs three is Daniel. Daniel B with that one. Second box. Oh right, right, right. It goes into these. Where do I? Where do? Where's the one shining moment song? Maybe inside March Madness on TBS. I was on TNT. Okay. And we'll do randomizers at the end for these, for the non-numbered base cards for each number block group. All right, behind Manny Machado is two color patch and autograph, rookie patch auto, Jackson Kowar, 150 out of 249. Royals, that Royals are a number block team too. So that goes to Kansas City zero. We go by that digit right there. KC zero is for Steve Birch. Three-point lead before his body. He caught it squarely. 
There's Aaron Ashby, 135 out of 299 for the Brew Crew. Brewers are a number block team, so that goes to Milwaukee 5. Milwaukee 5 is on that Philadelphia list, and that'll be for that'll be for Daniel B. once again. What player on a new team this year in baseball is going to look weirdest in their new uniform? I guess, I'm, I'm not sure if I've seen a lot of the new players in their new uniforms just yet, but I did see... Freddie Freeman in a Dodgers uniform in a spring training game, and that was that was weird. There's you Darvish for the Padres to 75. Lonnie with the Friars. There's Tyler McGill, 204 out of 299. Yeah, Chris Bryant in a Rockies uniform. I haven't seen that yet, but I feel like that's got to be weird. Uh, Noah Syndergaard looked pretty good in his Angels uniform, though. We saw him make a start against the Dodgers last night. Uh, Mets. Who's got the Mets? Mets are another number block team. That's New York Mets 4. That's part of that same Philadelphia group. So that goes to John, John S. in the number 4. John saying, just anybody in Cleveland with that Guardians logo. Yeah, that's got to look weird. I think whenever I see Kenley Jansen went to the Braves, whenever I see Kenley Jansen in a Braves uniform, that's going to trip me out too. Corey Seager on the Rangers. Corey Seager is sort of in similar colors, so I feel like it's not as jarring. There's Jake Berger, 7 out of 75. Mmm, Bergers. That's, uh, that's another number block team. The number blocks are all hitting here. White Sox, that's a different number block. So Chicago White Sox, 7. That's going to be for Jose. There you go, Jose. Twelve out of fifty. Logan saying Adams. I'm blanking on that. Uh, Oakland A's are a number block team. So let it go to Oakland. Oakland two. By the way. There is a Matthew Veerling. Six out of ninety nine. Phillies. Philly. Phillies are also a number block team. I don't think a, a straight up team has hit yet. So that's Philly six. Philadelphia six. Simon. Simon with Philadelphia six. Oh, I was my head was in baseball mode. What about baseball, Logan? In the baseball break. I'm trying to keep there. Okay, Diego saying Josh Donaldson on the Yankees with no beard. Yeah, that's weird. There's Davey Garcia speaking of the Yankees, 51 out of 99. Uh, White Sox is a number block team, so White Sox one is going to be Oliver Smith. Ah, oh, it's spring training, Rex. So that doesn't really matter. Okay. 
Wait, so Rex, do the Cubs play the White Sox? Does that does that traditionally happen every year? The last few games of the last few exhibition games are uh, are with the White Sox because because the last few games of the last three exhibition games for the Dodgers is always the almost always the Angels. It has been for a long time. Do other cities do that? Do you think did the Yankees and Mets play their last three exhibition games against each other? A's and Giants, do they do that too? 50 out of one, uh, 150, Byron Buxton, Twins. That'll be for Daniel. And we've got Dawn of Greatness autograph. That's Pudge, Von Rodriguez, 4 out of 20. Rangers, Rangers picked up straight up by Steven Krumholz. Last spot mojo strikes again. Nice. I think that's our first hit going to someone who bought a team straight up. Rex is asking who's going to be that surprise team this season. Glowbug saying they used to Mets Yankees, but not anymore. Okay, I was just curious how many other teams did that because I know it's, it is it has become a tradition in LA for the last I don't know decade or so to close out the exhibition season, spring training season with a few games. Ah, okay. So Rex is not sure if it's typical that they do play each other. Interesting. All right, there's Josh Rojas, 66 out of 150 for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Kevin. And behind Miguel Cabrera is Trey Aubrengay, 25 out of 125 for the Yankees. The Yankees are part of that Chicago White Sox number block group. So Yankees 5 is going to be for Globog for Alex. Rex is thinking the Tigers will surprise everyone. That, that means that means Spencer Torkelson's probably having a good year. He made the opening day roster, so that, that might mean good things there. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. Logan's thinking Pirates will shock the world. All right, we got Ryan Mountcastle, 54 out of 99. That's another number block team, Baltimore 4. A lot of teams that people could have picked up straight up. Baltimore 4, it's going to be for John S. There you go, John. Logan thinking Blue Jays World Series. Yeah, I agree, Rex. I, I, I feel like it might be a few years before before all all the Pirates youngsters start to come up the ranks, start evolving, and the Tiger might be a little bit ahead of the Pirates, I think. There's Alejo Lopez, 220 out of 299 for the Red Legs. Jeremy Harder with the Reds straight up. Next box, Salvador Perez, 20 out of 150, Royal Zero. That's 
And there's Josh Lowe, 12 out of 125. That's for the Tampa Bay Rays. Adam picked up the Rays straight up. Yeah, the Angels could make a run. If they get a healthy Mike Trout. They got some youngsters coming up the ranks. Brandon Marsh, Joe Adele, Jared Walsh, my healthy Mike Trout. If Shohei Otani even does three quarters of what he did last season, he'd still be amazing. Redemption on the bottom. Their pitching, that's always been the issue. So, so yeah, if Syndergaard can stay healthy, it could be just what they need. All right, good luck. Congratulations, someone is due to receive a silver signing. That's a one per case of... Of... Wander Franco. Logan was calling a book earlier, but I'm sure, I'm sure Adam and the Rays won't mind a silver signings. Wander Franco, congrats. Nice. Let's hope he has a great season. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, RPA, Jaron Duran, nice. Red Sox, 40 out of 125. Boston is another number block team. And that goes to Boston Zero. Zero, that's for Glo that's for Glowbug. There you go, Alex. One of their up and coming prospects. Two more to go. Sorry, Jacob DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom shutting, being shut down for a little bit. There's Tim Anderson for the White Sox, 54 out of 99. White Sox, four. Corey with that one. And behind O'Neill Cruz is Ryan Vallad, 180 out of 249. Colorado Rockies, a number block team, part of the Philadelphia group. So that'll go to Steve Birch, Colorado Zero. There's also, I feel like there's a little thing I noticed here. There's also a little mark right there. Can I see that? Looks like someone, maybe Brian, put like a pencil or a pen right across there. But just, just, F, just heads up. Let's see, that might be, you might be able to clean that. All right, last one. Now, we don't have any more Inception Baseball, but we may get some more. Keep your eye out on it. In the meantime, baseball fans, I would really get into uh, working on those fillers for the opening day baseball mixer. That's a 70 boxer and a lot of opportunities to try to win spots in that mixer. And still a few opportunities to buy some teams straight up if you're feeling spicy. Some mixer spots straight up. All right. Behind Reed Detmers is Jersey and Auto... Cal Raleigh, 18 out of 25. Nice Mariners patch, nice autograph. Corey Cope picked up the M's straight up. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the two number block groups with the two different teams will likely have some, uh, will likely have, let's see, oh, what, what randomizer did we,
just need to post that number block randomizer. Uh, well, like those two number block groups will likely have non-numbered base cards. So we'll have to randomize those to one person in that number block group. So let's flip back to the list over here. Let's do the Chicago one first. And then we'll do the Philadelphia one. All right, and one dice roll for both lists. There it is. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a two, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So Glowbug, you'll get all the non-numbered base cards for the White Sox, Boston, Toronto, Houston, LA, and New York. And then same drill with the other number block list six times for this group. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, it's gonna be Simon. Simon, you'll get all the non-numbered uh, cards for that big group team. Philadelphia, Baltimore, Chicago, Cubs, Detroit, New York Mets, Kansas City, Milwaukee, Colorado, Oakland. All right, so there you go, Simon. And there you go, everybody. That's that. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And be sure to join those fillers for that opening day baseball mixer. 70 boxes is going to be a lot of fun. Check it out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.